Hi, my name is Nick, and pretty recently I found this new uh, Word app called WordWeeds on the App Store. So I thought I'd do a little walkthrough and show you what it's all about. So when you first get into the app, there are four different game modes. There's survival versus computer, one player, and two player. And I also found that um, the game can be played on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So today I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a walkthrough of what each of these game modes does. Alright, now I'm going to show you what the first game mode of Word Weeds does. It's called Survival, and we're going to look at it right now. Now when you first start playing, uh, before, actually before you start playing, you're going to want to uh, obviously put down your name. What's important about this is that it's going to show up in the score tracker. Right now there isn't anything, but as you play, um, it's going to show all the different scores of everybody who's played that game mode. So we're going to play a game right now and show you what it's all about. Alright, now when you look at the game board, you can see that a bunch of letters are just kind of popping up all around the screen randomly. The object of the game is to actually move uh, words or uh, letters around and create words. As you can see, I just created the word C, but I didn't create it in a straight direction. Um, that's one really cool thing about this game is that you can go diagonal, you can go sideways, up and down, anything, and it can even be in the middle of the word. So let's try and create another word. How about fast? Now, as you can see, um, as the words pop up, you're actually getting further and further to, um, towards the end of the game. The, the object of the game is to um, not get the board to fill up or else you lose. You can also notice here that the, um, the, back, or the border of the game um, is actually red, and that's just giving you a notice ahead of time that you're getting towards the end of the game and you want to clear it as fast as possible. Now, here we rank number one just because there isn't really anyone else who has played, but as people play, you know, you may not get first all the time. So you can see here that we had a score of 50, which obviously isn't that great, but it took us a minute and two seconds and we got two words. Um, this is this can definitely be a very challenging game because, you know, you, you um, can challenge your friends and family in this game and it can be really fun. Um, you can also notice, we'll play another game and show you, that um, you can create big words and small words. Um, what's important about creating small words is, it, is that it helps you clear the board a little bit faster, while creating bigger words helps you to um, get more points. Gaining points is the most important part about this game. So that's basically it. We're just gonna wait till uh, till the board fills up here. We can make a, a couple more words. Now, also as you play, um, you can notice that um, the the words are actually gonna be popping up on the board a little bit faster each time, and that's just to make the game a little bit more difficult. The game just filled up and. We obviously got a much better score than last time. We have 290, whereas last time it was only 50. So you can see here that it's in red, showing that that's the score that you just recently got. So if you just look at the difference, I mean, we did very much, you know, a lot better than last time. So that's survival, and uh, next we're going to go on to versus computer. Next we're going to look at versus computer. It's quite different from survival and so are one player and two player in that the grid doesn't actually fill up with let or yeah it doesn't actually fill up with letters. It kind of just starts out with a whole bunch of letters. And the difference is that you're not you're not pressed for time in these levels. You're only you're given a bunch of letters and you want to create what's given to you. 
already. So, uh, we're gonna create, let's say, okay, so we always start with uh, 10 points here, and it takes 5 points to swap letters. So, let's say I wanna swap this E over, I tap it, and then I move it over here. I wanna make the word stale. So, if I just swipe down here, and then this way, I can make the word stale, which is a 5 letter word and that squared is 25. That means that I'm gonna get 25 points. So, if I press play, I now have 30 points. The computer then, then moves, since this is versus computer. It made its word, made 16 points because of a four letter word. And that is basically how versus computer works. Now when I go over one player and two player, one player is gonna basically be the same thing, and so are two player, and that you're already gonna start off with a full grid of letters. The only difference is that one player, you're playing by yourself, going for a high score, and two player, you're going for, um, you're going for a high score, but you're playing against another person, and it kind of just goes, you know, you and then your friend, and it keeps going until ten rounds. So we're just going to go over those real quick, and, um, yeah, that's basically versus computer. Alright, next we're going to look at one player. So, as you can see, I have my name in here. We're going to start a game. And again, the uh, the grid's not filling up um, right away, like survival. Um, everything's already filled up. And the difference between this and um, and versus computer, like I had said um, before, is that uh, you're not playing against anybody. You're simply just going for a high score. Again, up to 10 rounds. So you get 10 rounds to make as many points as you possibly can. So, let's try and make a big word. So... Let's see here. All right. Let's say I put this R right up here, and I make the word Sephora. Uh, wait, no, I need an O, don't I? So, let's see. If I move this A over here, then I can click play. Oh, but it's an invalid word. That's okay. We can try and create a different word. It would have been really cool if it was a real word, though. Uh, since we've basically used all of our um, five uh, point passes, or I mean not passes, but swaps, um, we're going to have to try and find a word um, that isn't as uh, big as we could have gotten before. But that's okay. Um, let's try and create the word... Um, let's see. How about aroma? We can click play, and we just got 25 points. Now, we could have gotten more points if we didn't make the swap, but that's what's so great about this game, is that, you know, you may make some mistakes here and there, but, hey, I mean, at least you're you're learning from your mistakes, and you'll get better uh, scores next time. So that's a little look at uh, one player, and we're next going to go over two player. All right, finally, we're going to look over two player. Now with two player, obviously you need two people to play, so I brought my sister Catherine in to play with me during this review. So again, it looks just like versus computer in one player, in that the board is already filled up, and um, we're just going to kind of compete to see who can get the best score. Alright, so I'm going to try and create, you know, a decent word, maybe show, maybe shows. So I'm just going to move it over like this. And that is a five letter word. So I have 35 points plus, you know, 25 plus the additional uh, 10 that I start out with. Now, uh, Catherine, how about you go? <laughs> All right, good job. So she just made a three letter word. So that's perfect. All right. So you can see that she she kind of accidentally made a swap, and that's okay because we all you know we all make mistakes when we play games, and that's what makes us better. But she made a three-letter word, which made I believe so she got nine points, which means you know since she accidentally did that swap, she uh, has 14 points, which is perfect. So let's say uh, I want to pass, and then she wants to pass, and etc. So we can make passes in case we can't make a word, 
and that's fine. Now, once by the time we finish, it'll show up in the scores, but we haven't completed the whole game. That's okay. Um, but basically, yes, it would show in the scores who won and who lost, which is uh, which is perfect because then we can compete more. And uh, I found myself actually playing this with a lot of other people as well. So that is just a quick look at two player. So thank you for watching this review on Word Weeds. Goodbye.